dive right in. For decades and decades, adversaries have exploited social engineering. You all know this better than anyone. Adversaries prey on human feelings, on fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FUD, you often hear that term FUD. And I don't know about you, but in the last couple of months, almost every day I feel a little fearful, uncertain, or doubtful. This, I mean, we joke about it, but it's, it's been a rough couple of months, folks. I don't know about you, but it certainly has been for me. And it's fascinating because, I mean, adversaries know this. And so while social engineering has been around forever and we know this, perhaps it's a little different now because on a global level, we're all so affected by this pandemic. And so our emotions are even more heightened. And again, this is nothing new. You know, adversaries often will prey on, you know, being curious. There's some new event in the news and they'll send out fishes about that. You know, click here for exciting news on this. But the more human emotion and the more fear, uncertainty and doubt we have, I think that it inherently has changed things for our users. And I love this graphic from an awesome woman named Sherrod DeGrippo from Proofpoint. I just borrowed it because I couldn't, I couldn't break it down better than this. You know, in the past few months, we've seen a massive increase in phishing themes using the coronavirus for the reasons that I just mentioned. You know, what better way to get someone to click on something than exploiting that fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we all feel? And it's interesting, though, to think about the use of these coronavirus themes because, yeah, that's different. It's a different theme, but some things are the same. Right. And when this whole thing started, you know, we were looking, my team was looking at what we were observing in our uh, customer environments, and we saw a lot of the same malware. You know, malware takes a lot of work for adversaries to write new versions. And so we saw a lot of the same malware, but it was coming in using these coronavirus themes in fishes. And so it's important to think about, I think, what's the same and different about our current situation. And yeah, a lot of the malware, the code is the same. But what's new, as I mentioned, is this pervasive sense of FUD, the fact that our employees are stressed. You know, maybe as someone who's used to being in an office has three kids and a dog screaming in the background. And that is very, very different. And as Lance set up this morning, you know, we have a very remote workforce now. So many people working from home. And so that's different as well. And all of these factors, I think, have just made employees even more vulnerable and perhaps our networks as well with you know, things like open remote desktop protocol, which could allow adversaries to connect in. And I think the important thing for all of us is to empathize with our users. And I know so many of you are excellent at doing this already. Empathize with our users and realize that it is tough for them. It is tough, they're in new situations and to maybe be a little kinder to them than we already, when we would have been already. So here's an example. Yeah, adversaries absolutely exploiting fear, uncertainty and doubt, you know, coronavirus news, click here, open this attachment. This is an example of what I would consider kind of leveling up in terms of human ingenuity. Well, yeah, I could send something about the latest coronavirus stats or news, but what if as an adversary, I sent something that made someone think that they were getting fired? So I've adapted this. This is not a real phishing email, but it's almost real. I've adapted this from an email that Sophos um, wrote about in a blog post. I'm just throwing in my name in there. Subject, you're invited to join the Q2 meeting with HR and payroll. Your presence is crucial. Some kind of you know urgency. Very common that we see that in phishing Join this live meeting, meeting purpose, contract suspension, termination trial. I don't know about you, but if I got this email, I might click. I've been doing this for years. I know all about phishing emails, but if I felt like my job was on the line, like that's exploiting human emotion to another level. Um, and it's funny because I showed this slide to my colleague and he was like, I mean, this was a real meeting, right? And I was like, no, I'm not getting fired, right? No, it, it looks real though. And you know, it's easy to, to kind of overlook and say, oh, users don't click, but think about how you would feel, how I would feel getting an email like this and fearing for your job in a time when you're already so uncertain about everything. So yeah, phishing themes, coronavirus themes, that's what we've seen a lot of, but 
there are some that I would say are kind of next level in terms of human ingenuity. You know, adversaries always thinking about what else could they do to make it a little scarier.